Well, as you can see in here, I got it running. Problem I had was when I was putting the distributor in, I was putting in a tooth off. So I messed around with it a little bit and figured it out. So some guys over at Mazda Trucking, they were uh, a big help. Um, gave me some pointers. Told me that uh, you know things were what they were. So uh, yeah, it runs. I've taken it up to the car wash. I've shot uh, some degreaser on the engine a little bit, and. Uh, Four-wheel drive works. Has put it through places a little bit, not not real serious. Uh, Four-wheel drive does work though, because um, of course it doesn't have the ground clearance. It can't go the places that my other daily driver can go, which is my Jeep. But yeah, regardless, who cares? So as of right now, I've got 600. Got a magic number involved in this truck. I've got $666 invested in this truck. I paid $225 for the truck. I paid $289 for the cylinder head. I got about uh, $40 in the uh, head gasket set. Uh, and then the rest of it is just really nickel and dime stuff, you know. Bought some spark plugs for, you know, a dollar on eBay. Um, I bought a tail light, I need a tail light that I busted out on it, um, paid $30 for that, um, I don't know, I'm just pretty happy, I'm really surprised, the AC works. Clutch, uh, looks like it might need a clutch sometime in the near future, uh, it, it releases just right off the floor hydraulic clutch so it's likely not going to be able to uh, be adjusted so but you know alignment's a little bit off steering wheel's a little bit off center but what do you want for an 89 but I mean look at it it's running right now I'm running straight water in it because uh, you know I was checking for leaks and all that stuff and uh, I don't know it's uh Let's take a look at the temperature gauge on this girl. Temperature gauge looks good. She's now got 240,106 miles on it. I put five miles on this girl today. Driving around back and forth, up and down the alley, car wash, up to the grocery store. You know, just trying to get her to run good, you know. My first time doing a, a single overhead cam. I'm used to conventional push rod motors, so you know, I uh, did all this for my wife for Christmas. I want to give her the truck, but heck, man, the truck runs so good. I don't know. I might just keep it for myself. So, yeah, it, uh, it's running. It don't appear to be leaking. So, uh, I guess next step is going to be to, uh, go ahead and, uh, well, run through its cycle, let it cool off, and then, uh, maybe, I don't know, Friday, well, tomorrow, this Friday, I'm not going to be available, but uh, then I'm going to have to go ahead and uh, retorque the head. And then I'll time it and I'll throw some plug wires in it. And yeah, well, let's see how things go.
it's going to need an oil change because the uh, oil was really nasty in it that I, that I drained out. It was like chocolate milk. I actually still have it over here. You probably can't tell, but it was it was pretty gross. So, but yeah. So again, thanks for them guys over at Mazda Trucking for giving me some pointers and helping me out. Um, I really don't think I could have done this without you. Um, so, yeah. How did uh, Borat say it? Great success. So, stay tuned, there might be more videos. Thanks for watching.